Hi, what a signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 21st of March, 2023. Time here in Genoa. Italy is 12.29 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs, okay? Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me what's coming up for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio within 24 hours. Using a different deck. And it's a little bit slippery because it's still kind of new. I rarely use it. <laughs> Please bear in mind that there will be a lot of details in this reading. So it may not resonate with you. May or may not resonate with you from the beginning to the end. So just take what resonates with you, okay? Take what applies. Let's see. The world here is in world first at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So the magician indicates manifestation, right? There's something you've been trying to manifest for sort of world first. You, you've been thinking about it a lot, okay? It is either to release a certain pain. It could be a physical pain, emotional pain, or an emotional pain. A mental five of pentacles here in world first. Or to recover something. I feel like it could be you looking for something that you have lost. Or if you've been feeling kind of lost. I see you, you know, with a magician here just finally feeling, okay, I'm no longer lost anymore. I'm going to, <laughs> you know, magician can get fake it till you make it. For some of you, if you need to make a presentation in front of everybody. And if people are watching you. I don't know. I keep getting this, like, fake it till you make it. It could be something you've been worrying, whether people are going to see that you are good at what you do or if they they're going to believe you. I see you making them believing you, but also spirits could be saying to just believe in yourself. You know, the fake it till we make it, um, is that a code? Is that a code or a saying? That I feel like it's not about faking it. It's more like, Having that confidence that you can actually do it, even if you have any self-doubts, okay? Maybe you are, you are actually good at what you're doing. Maybe you really do know what you're doing. Maybe you know your stuff, but it's it could be because of self-doubt, insecurities, or pressure that could make you feel like you're faking it as if you're not, as in you're not good enough in doing what you're doing, right? So I feel like, you know, it's not really like fake it to make it, just believing in yourself that you can manifest it, that you can make it happen, okay? So you're making things happen. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse can indicate also uh, some sort of um, improvement in your finances. But also, it's, it has something to do with making the most out of what you have. So making a making what do you call that that other thing making lemonade out of lemons <laughs> i'm so bad at these kind of things i always forget how to say it but i understand what it means but so it's it's like if you don't have that much money so you you you, you figure you should be figuring things out basically saying you should be figuring how to stretch the money right some of you maybe this is what you're doing and you could be given a certain budget as well to make certain things happen. That could be like, oh, I need more money for that. I need more budget for that. But, you know, I see you just stretching the budget or um, pulling, pulling, um, like using your connections, asking people to like kind of chip in or help or sponsor. I don't know. This part is just for some of you. Yeah. But I feel like Seven of Cups in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Again, showing as though you are in control. So Spirit says you must within 24 hours or longer because timing and tower is not very accurate. But um, something about even if you feel like you're losing control, that you're not good enough to do something, 
uh, to make something happen. So this is just do it, okay? And just do the best that you can. You know, the magician has a lot of resources here. Just pull all, all of your resources. It could be connections. It could be your brain power. It could be friends. Um, like friends is network, like your network, or just do the best that you can, or just at least believe that you can make it happen, and you can, right? The magician is also somebody who, you know, wears a false self mask. I'm not saying that you're, you know, this is why I feel like there could be some uh, truth to that f fake it till you make it energy to this reading. But also, you know, magician can indicate sometimes deception. So be aware of somebody who deceives or tries to deceive you. Um, or basically telling you that, you know, they are the maybe the emperor, but it is in reverse. So this person may not be able to deliver what they're going to be promising you. So be aware of certain individual who's going to be overselling to you or someone who is like mm, trying to convince you to do something. Um, even trying to borrow money from you, saying, I will return it to you within, you know, a period, whatever the period of time. This person is not going to keep their word, okay? So be careful of an individual who is going to make you promises that they can't keep. And I'm going to pull this one, the world here, in up first. So if you get scammed by this person, it feels like this person is very convincing, right? Um, and also... Some of you, maybe this person has done it before. So if that's the case, you should know who this person is. But there's a, an energy of this person trying to convince you that they'll be able to do something, but they're not going to do it. They're not going to be able to do it, okay? They're just, you know, again, magician, candy kid, some sort of deception. Ace of Swords. I see you making a decision, okay? To, you know, something that hasn't been moving forward. I also am sensing that you will think this is like a waste of time. So you're going to be dropping something off or dropping someone or cutting somebody off because this person is taking way too long. Also, some of you, a friend might be a bit late to come and meet you or some, something that is being delayed. I feel like you're just going to feel really frustrated about it and you're going to feel like it has reached the limit. This person or this project, something that is going to reach its time limit that you may have given to yourself or to this person. And I see you just saying, okay, enough is enough. I see you cutting it off. So many certain things that haven't been working out, but you've been religiously doing it. I see you cutting, you, I see you stopping that as well. Because you don't see the eight of wands. You know, eight of wands in my voice. It's like, ah, I don't see any progress, so I'm just going to stop it. Is wasting my time, my energy, or my money. The world in reverse, yeah, this stuck energy, right? I see you also with the hermit here in reverse coming out of, you know, an isolation. Or if you've been staying home a lot, I see you coming out. Or spirits could be encouraging you to come out, get some fresh air. Ace of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Taking a break. Yeah, taking a break. Some of you just taking a break on like focusing on something i don't know i'm seeing if you've been now uh, watching looking too much at your phone or your computer your laptop it says take a break from it because something about oh uh something about your eyes okay something about your eyes bad for your eyes and especially for those of you who've been looking at your phone or your laptop in a dark that's what i'm seeing here uh you have to stop doing that watch it during the day or when it's you know switch on the lights i don't know this is super specific and obviously it's not for all of you so all the pentacles here are in well first watch out uh watch your finances okay watch um don't lose your money don't gamble that's what i'm seeing here within 24 hours don't lend anybody any money because you may not get it back. Mm -hmm. And be aware of scammers or people who want, you know, it could be this person asking for your time, your energy, help them do something. I don't know. It just feels like this person is not, somebody's not going to keep their words, okay? And you're going to end up feeling kind of stuck here with the world in one verse. 
Okay, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Because a few complaints that I've been hearing about how they were not being notified every time when I post your videos, okay? Alright, take care, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.